I'm talking. We're going to call the meeting to order then. We'll start with the pledge, the flag, and then a prayer by Commissioner Davis since he's been gone so long. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today thanking you for all the many blessings you have given us. We thank you for this glorious day we've had. We ask that you be with us as a commission. Let us make the right decisions that will help further your cause here on earth. We ask that you guide, lead, and direct us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I keep thinking about this scratch it all. Okay, welcome everybody out tonight. We have such a large crowd for... Beautiful November night. Uh, first item of business approval of minutes. We approve the minutes of the previous meeting. Second. second. We have a motion Third and a second. Fourth. Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Uh, motion passes. Next item is the bills. Make a motion, we pay the bills. Second. We have a motion second on the bills. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Oh, opposed saying I'm like oh, I was yeah, reading ahead. <laughs> Sorry. I was reading ahead. Okay, we've got one item under old business. It's the second reading of the meeting hours for the alcohol sales. It's going from uh, ending sales at midnight to two AM. Or is it ending sales at one thirty? Well we can say so we can do whatever they end at one thirty to have the thirty minute gap to yes. close out their customers' tickets. But we would Need a motion and a second in order to discuss. Oh, well, I'll make the motion then, just so we can discuss it. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Yeah, I, I personally do not see that it would benefit our community. Uh, I think that we're just opening up a situation where that we're going to need have more places that will need to want to be open and. I, I just cannot in my mind think that it would help us in any way. And so I, I, I do want you to know up front that I am opposed to this. I did do some checking and investigating around with other businesses. As of right now, this one facility uh, venue at uh, Midtown is the only one that it will affect. There is no convenience store that stays open past 11. Walmart's not open 24 hours. So this is only one, one business that it affects. Uh, just something to think about, you know, and it's always something we can look at and change back well, after of, a few months. One of the things I wanted to add to it, too, and I'm not, look, I'm not trying to sway anybody's what, vote or anything. They're staying open an hour, half, an hour and a half longer than they normally stay open on a Sunday morning. I agree. But at 9 o'clock, well, I don't even know what time they can, but I think it's 9 o'clock. They can buy alcohol in, in Ohio. Six, isn't it? Six o'clock? You can buy alcohol at 6 o'clock in the morning. I think 6 a.m. to midnight. So at 6 o'clock, three hours and a half after that, yeah, three hours, four and a half hours after that, they can buy alcohol whether they, they, this place is open or not. And I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. But... We're giving those people the opportunity to sell alcohol on Sunday. And again, it's a different venue. I understand it's not a place. They're selling it completely in packages where they're selling it to an individual. It's a, it's a two different types. But I really, I don't drink, so it doesn't really affect me in any way, shape, or form. But I feel like if, 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 if we're going to do something where we limit it on one end, we ought to do something where we limit it on the other end. And I hate to do that because I don't, I don't want to do that either. Because the alcohol, alcohol sales has been big, big and beneficial to our city, the money-wise. I don't know what it's caused other ways, but I know it, 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 did, it doesn't seem to be affecting the crime any. It doesn't seem to be affecting the amount of arrests we're making. But I just think if you're, if you're going to take away an hour and a half on this guy's end, what are we going to do to the people that are selling it at 6 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday morning when people are going to church? That's true. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. And it's, you know. Because it would be adding. It, it don't, it don't, I don't have no vote in this, but my two cents worth is, if, if you're, if you're at a place where you're serving alcohol and you 
have three or four drinks and you've got an extra hour and a half, you're going to have another one, two, or three more drinks. Versus if you wait till six o'clock the next morning, you've got kind of a drying out period of getting your alcohol level back down. That's just the way I look at it. Well, I've been, been the police commissioner. I did go talk to our police officers, and they said you know, they would do whatever we did. Well, they'd enforce whatever we decided, but they would prefer because if right at shifts change, only one officer would be on duty at that time. And if there was anything, you know, he'd be hard stretched and uh, they just preferred that it didn't pass, but they would do whatever we wanted. You know, if it would pass, they'd live with it. But if it didn't, uh, they would prefer it. And anyway, I was gonna vote, I'll just let you know, I'll be against it, I'll vote no, no matter what. The other three of you may go for it. And I won't be upset if you get bit, but just for my police officers, I'm going to support them and they'll do what they would like for us to do. I have a question. If Walmart starts staying open 24 hours or the other convenience stores, how, will that will that automatically put them in? For the package, under yes. that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have to go, they have to stop at 12. Like well, well, they would no, go to whatever the new, new time is. Whatever the time would be. Oh, is. they would automatically go. <clears throat> God, now that changes things. I didn't understand that one. Well, but now I'm like saying none of them are open yeah. at and the moment, though, and that could change tomorrow. We don't know. Well, and again, I talked to two different convenience stores, and they're they're really liking this being able to close at ten and not having to be open because they can keep their gas pumps open, so yeah. they're still selling gas, but they don't have to. That is true. They don't have to have people there and I'm until people decide change. they want to go back to work, it's not going to change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Until people decide well, they want to yeah. work, it's not going to change. Well, I got a question: Are they allowed to sell out? Is it every night from 12 to 6 that they can't sell alcohol, or is it just on Saturday night? No, it's night. every day, 6 a.m. to midnight. Okay. Uh, midnight to 6 a.m. You, can't you cannot sell. Yeah. Sell That's every day of the week. Yeah. Yeah. They, they changed that from the old days. It used to be just Sunday. And I worked a lot of night shifts and, and worked a lot of night shifts. And that driving span after midnight dangerous. Is, is a dangerous driving span to begin with. And I can't, uh, you know, I can understand, you know, people don't have to run to Owensboro and all of that like it was at one time, even though you did have a bootlegger on there corner. Yep. But uh, the thing about it is that it's already a dangerous time to drive. Uh, that's when you've got most of your deer activity. That's when you've got all kinds of things. And to think that there are two extra drinking hours to be able and then have to get on the road to go home, it, it just doesn't seem to me like a, a feasible thing. Can I make a comment? Yeah. I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you. Well, legally, obviously, y'all can do it whichever the way you want to do it. And I, I, I go back so far and remember so far back that, that I actually there was a wet dry election in the 70s and I, I actually was in favor of it because my thought was that if it's wet, then you don't send people on the road. And they're they're going to drink and they'll be back driving back. But I'm not sure that I have an understanding that there would be the level of alcohol sales in as many places as exist now. And on a personal note, somebody that has, uh, has experienced within my own family, uh, a distant part of the family, but, but some not so distant. Uh, the reality of what alcohol, the, the consumption of alcohol does to those people that have to have it, not socially drink it. And the realities are that those that have the greatest propensity for having to have it are going to be those that are drinking at 1 o'clock in the morning or 2 o'clock in the morning, not those that, not, or less of those that, that can go get a six pack of beer sometimes. But, but the fact it's shut down for six hours a day and you got 18 hours in which you can buy it, there is another side to this coin and it's not just the finances of being able to sell it. And 
whatever that garners good for the community. And I know it, 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 there are aspects of it that are very good for the community. But on the other end of that, there are people that are consuming it. And there's real danger of, with that type of consumption at that time in the day. And that's just my opinion. Well, and, and I, that thought went through my mind too. And then I got to thinking, but how many people will here, okay, at 1130, it's like, well, let's run to Owensboro. We've got two and a half more hours over there. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying. I've tried to think no, of every that's angle. That's what I was going to ask. <laughs> I've what, tried, what to, and I've tried to be open-minded all the way around. Is that what Owensboro's ordinance is? Is, is it, it's just the one place, or will there be more? Oh, well, will? there's only one right now that's licensed to do it. Does it have to be? And I don't. I, who knows what's going to happen? I can't see us supporting population-wise being able to support more. I may be wrong, but. So in Owensboro, Walmart can sell alcohol till 2 o'clock in the morning? And I don't know if there's a setup between package and, and liquor store, I mean bars, but no bars can be open until 2. You, it could be a change from buy the drink and package. I don't know how these are written over. But you said a while ago that if we pass this, then if Walmart goes to stay open all night long, they'll be able to sell till 1.30 or 2 o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning also. But we'd have a distinguish between the two. I don't really like that, but... Well, that's another thought about I know. Items. That's another one of those things that just, you know, well, it's, I, Paul remembers when the first day after the alcohol business opened up, I called him at 9 o'clock in the morning. I said, Paul, they're selling alcohol. Are they allowed to sell alcohol on South Sunday? And he goes, I was going to church. I was like, are they still allowed to sell alcohol on Sunday? Yep, that was in the. I and said, what was my answer? Yeah, Kevin, we, did you not read? We <laughs> did, I did not see it. I mean, I don't think, did anybody see that? But Did you see it? How come I missed that? I did not know that. I called him. I he to him tell you. I called him at nine o'clock. Saying they're, having, they're selling alcohol down here. Are they supposed to do that? Did not know that. We're the reason Owensboro does it. Yeah. Well, the <laughs> yes, Kentucky's the one that changed the law, though, uh -huh. wasn't it? Wasn't it Kentucky that changed the well, law? Well, but I know, but Owensboro wasn't doing it until yeah, until we one of their city commissioners made a comment in an open meeting how they were behind Beaver Dam and they just couldn't oh, stand yeah. the thought of that. It didn't yeah, paper yeah. like that. Yeah. I remember yeah. reading it. Oh, that, that well, I told you I'd come by there. after, and I sat out there in the parking lot, and there was well, nine cars. Yeah. And that's when I said something on social media about the, the certain commissioner recognizing Beaver Dam's ahead of one spur, and that didn't sit too well with the mayor <laughs> or the certain commissioner. That's true. Well, I, I'm very torn. I really am. I thought I had my mind made up one way, and then I thought of it another way, and so it's just bouncing around in my head. It's difficult. It is very difficult. The background in substance abuse prevention, but this is not going to be preventing. It anyone. could. It could prevent one person, and then all you're really worried about is it's that one person, whoever that is. But I don't know. I'm like you, Sandy. I'm torn. So the bars in Owensboro do stay open until two, they. Well, I don't know that all two. of them do, but some do. in Muhlenberg? But what about Uncrafted? Do they stay open? They close at 10. Oh. We have to do what best for our place. Yeah. I ain't worried about yeah. what point for No, I'm just trying to enough. get some comparison because someone said, well, they could drive to Owensboro. No. Uh, I, could, I could point the way to them. There, there they go. I don't know that there's anything. I don't know about Greenville because they just went wet. Yeah. Central City, Stallions is, I think, is the only place they've got down there. Yeah. Well, they got that new place. Where uh, Purple oh, Onion yeah. was at? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw that the other day. I don't know what it's called, but I did see but that. It's kid, they advertise it as family family friendly and have stuff for all the kids going on in there. I've they never got, figured well, that out. I haven't been in there, but a couple of guys that work for our department were telling me about it. Like downstairs, they kind of got like a restaurant vibe. They've got like hatchets, stone hatchets, and arcade, and then kind of like how it used to be the bars upstate. So it's kind of separated. We're going to have to move on this yeah. to do something. Any other discussion? All right, those in favor, signify with aye. Those opposed, same. No. And opposed. No. Thank you. Opposed has roll, it. I want to do a roll call just for your records. You think hmm. you ought to do a roll call? Well, no, I don't think it's not that. Well, nobody voted. So. Yeah, there's no. I just thought that would be better for the record. I didn't oh. know. Because for and for the record, I don't care one way or the other. I don't either, but I thought somebody. Well, I, I've been, no, no, I mean, I've been in Drifters one time, and that was telling. Well, I've been. We go in there. We go in there quite a bit. 
that. We go play pool, <laughs> watch ball games, and listen to the now, live man, music. I, I like watching ball games. And the live music. Fun. I like that. And I've never seen an issue down there any time we've ever been there. Look, the guys are very nice. I and, like the man. And had, really it, had we had the fact that all these convenience stores would be turned loose, other places in town, other bars would be turned loose, I would have been a little more probably leaning against it. But I hate to do when one guy is doing everything he can to make Make his business work, and he comes and asks this of us, and he's not shown us any reason not to trust him because I know of two instances the cops have been called down there, and the owner called them both times. So, you know, that's my only – I hate not to try to work with him. And that's me. I I like the guy. Uh, I met him him twice now, and and he's been nice both times. And I would have – you know, I would like to – and maybe what it is we need to amend this or something. I don't know because what really bothered me was – if we let them do it, what's going to happen when Walmart and them go to 24 hours a day again? Then, basically, only for four hours a week are we going to have the non-sale. Well, we really can't restrict Walmart if we do. I know. So we would we'll just have to be. Well, it's a different kind of thing. One's a pack. One's a package store, and one of them's a regular bar, basically. So it is a different yeah. venue. Well, but what's the difference in? One selling by the drink and one selling by the package at Price 1 a.m. Well, <laughs> well, but I mean at 1 a.m., what That's difference does it make? They can cut them off in the... Yeah. Well, right, but I'm talking about as far as... Yeah. Like I said, I'm still... I, I'm still torn. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm Central City's 12. They're 12. Okay, next item we're under new business is bidding out mowing for Sunnyside Cemetery. Maybe you have a chance to look at that contract. I ain't mowed over them. Yeah, I did. Yeah, pretty much. It, it, that's that. That's kind of a strange contract. Basically, it's a, it's it's included in an offer to bid, and and you, you know it's it's a it's it's not a um, a definitive contract with conditions and all that type thing. That, you know, you 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 make an offer. This we we're, we want to bid. We want people to bid, and this these are the the. Uh, the basis for the bid, and, and uh, if the bid is accepted, you have a contract. Uh, it doesn't actually include the drafting of a separate contract, and I don't think you have to do that. But basically, you're you're letting it for bid, and um, as long as you detail in uh, the the uh, bid application uh, those things that have to be accepted and agreed upon when the bid is made, I think you're in pretty good shape. And that's what the board did. Okay. Do you have a, 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 a things itemized that you want to put include in that bid? What you're going to expect of them? I do. It's kind of in the contract that the school board has, but I don't have a copy with me. It's in the, in the office. Because you don't know, like what we do, you know, the weeding and cleaning off the excess grass and all that kind of stuff. So all they're doing is the cemetery, and they're not doing any other moment in the no, city. No. All, all they want to bid out is the cemetery. And why is that? And how many uh, offices a month are you doing? It weekly or bi-weekly? It will what? Be, it will be weekly, uh, weekly slash twenty-six times a year, whichever you know. Because there's, there's going to be time. There's going to be times in the summer and in you know, July, first of August, where it may go every eleven, twelve days. But there's going to be times in the springtime it may have to be every six days. So or five. We've seen. Yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, the same thing. We didn't, we didn't may go every every other time. So. Uh, 20, 20, 25 or 26 mowings a year. Uh, one gentleman that has talked to me about it, that's what the school board basically is, and that gets them, like they just finished up mowing last week at the school board, you know, with the frost we had, it's killed everything out. So, uh, you know, we, we know basically what Hartford's bid out at. We're a little smaller than Hartford, so uh, if, if it comes in, what I kind of think, uh, you know, our, our summer help has kind of, I'm not going to say played out, but the ones we've had the last two or three years have kind of moved on to other aspects. So this would, this would cut out a couple of the summer, summertime hill, uh, give us more time to focus on the water, sir, and, and maintain the park a little better. Uh, My only concern that it's not going to be, I feel like you assure that when our guys are doing it, that it's done right. right. In many places I've seen, there will be grass on the sidewalk and like if it's a corner it'll be cut like right there and it's leaving the patch of grass right there yeah. Yeah. and you know all, we don't all, all this can be addressed in the we don't need that at anywhere 
as long as Larry, as long as the city has uh, something within the agreement that would enable the city to do necessary inspections to make sure that what's being done comports with the agreement and the city has the authority if it's not being done uh, uh, in the way the city wants it done. The city has the authority to terminate that agreement without further notification. Now the only problem with that is if you terminate it, it's going to have to be mulled by somebody the next week. Mm -hmm. uh, well, but, but could, could we also put something in the uh, contract where if the city looks at it and something does not meet our approval, we can go in and fix it and back charge? Sure. That's, I mean, because we had the manpower. You know, if you went in there and there was getting ready for Memorial Day weekend or something, and there was stuff and he needed, we needed to go up there and spend somebody a couple hours working, we could back charge him. I think you and I talked about Memorial Day, make the, let the city take care of Memorial Day, Labor Day. I think you said, no, let them go ahead and do it to make sure it's dressed up nicely, which, which is fine too. I mean, it's all the time. Well, just, I know y'all have your hands full. Especially with the very festival. You know, really. you, you know actually, the inspection, the, and the inspection could be uh, with whoever you designate, including yourself, and it would be done with, with, with adequate frequency. So whoever gets the contract knows that they got to do it right, or they're going to be backcharged and they're going to lose the contract. And we have commissioner that over, over cemeteries. Sandy Robinson. Florida. Florida. <laughs> About every one of us are up. I thought there. it was you. <laughs> I'm. I'm. So, I, 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 at the beginning. Of the, uh, at the beginning of the year, I would like to change, do something. <laughs> Your sanitation is I get rid of the parks, and I want to get rid of the cemetery. <laughs> get there rid of both there are a few ladies in the community that will monitor it. <laughs> I guess what we need to do, Some I, 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 I would like to let, let it out to be it open up for next month's meeting. We need to get together some parameters on what we expect. I guess give them to A V, let him draw it up. And put that in the application. Yes. Yeah, I agree. So you just need a motion tonight that we uh, bid out the contract. Give him approval to start the process. I, I make a motion that we bid out the contract for the mowing of the cemetery. No second that. Give Paul and A V the approval to write the contract. Okay. And Thanks. give them the approval to write the contract. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> did we have a second? I did. Thank okay, you. we have a motion and a second for the discussion. Those in favor signify aye. Aye. Opposed same. Motion passes to observe Veterans Day on Friday, November the 12th. Yes, the landfill is actually open on Thursday. Uh, I think, I don't know if they're going to observe on Friday or not, but I, I think the guy would rather go ahead and work Thursday, get all the sanitation picked up, all the trash picked up, and take off having a three-day weekend. If it's That'd be a better work for the city, too. And it was kind of the guy's request, wasn't yeah, it? My it was understanding was, and it'll keep a lot of confusion down with the residents, because they right. can't seem to. No, I can't get when, the, when the trash doesn't get picked up. Yeah. It blows our mind. Okay. Uh, do we need that in a form of motion? Yes. I'll I think so just to cover them. I'll move to observe Veteran Day on Friday, the November 12th. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, sing five, aye. 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 Opposed, same. That motion passes. Next item is Thanksgiving trash pickup. Yes, Thanksgiving falls on Thursday. Oh, it does, Larry. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So I, we're going to move the Thursday pickup day to the following Monday. Right. So we'll pick up Thursday trash on Monday and Thursday of the week following. We need to make sure that's in the paper and let Jerry know. I've already seen and, it somewhere. Can, on the water bill, place. can you make it big letters? People tell me, I don't see it. I didn't we see it on the water bill. The water bill's already gone out. I know it. I can we change the ink on there? Can we make it a different color ink when it goes through there? So on Monday, it'll be picking up Thursday. Yep. And then that Thursday the same week, we'll pick up Thursday we'll pick up We Thursday can always again. make Georgia go on Jerry Ride show and announce it. That would be good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always have to message me. I saw them evil eyes, too. Look at them evil eyes. Remember it. Should, well, they were asking about the, would the six bag be an issue at that point? I don't think We'd so. We'd probably ignore it that first, that Monday. Because, because, yeah, because Thursday. No, if it's 12, we might. But the only thing I ever hear is they never see it on the bill. And because they're not, either not looking or they just, that way it printed. Can you, is that black and white printer all we use on that thing? Is it a color or black and white only? I don't know that you could print just that line item in another color because so about, they all print at the same time. I know, but that thing doesn't have any color. My printer does have color, but I don't think you could print the line item on that. 
Oh, it could be highlighted. It could be highlighted. Okay, I just wondered. That's a thought. Yeah. Highlighters and marking. Oh, yeah. You, I'll let Amy do that. Oh, you tell her. Charles said. You tell her. Word. Okay, we will need that in the form of motion too, just to cover. To make a motion that Thanksgiving trash pickup be oh, on the following yes. Monday, yeah, and then lift. that same yeah. week, hey, you know, yeah. Thursday this will be picked up okay. also. Regular schedule. I'm yeah. saying yeah. it so I remember yeah. it when people ask. I'll second. Me. <laughs> we have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Yeah. Those in favor, same path, aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Now, Larry, if I text you and ask you, don't don't fuss at me. <laughs> Next item is the AFG grant. Yeah, um, last couple of years we've applied to the AFG grant. I think last time we tried it was for a fire truck. It's the FEMA Assistance to Firefighters grant. It uh, opens back up again this month. And I would like to apply for it to purchase air packs. Um, roughly estimated price would be in the hundred to 105000 to replace the ones we got replaced. Um, when we did it for the truck, it was a 15% match. From the paperwork that I was reading that they sent over from grad, it looked like it was 5% for the amount and the amount of residents we have. But I won't know more until I talk to um, I think it's Jesse Howard. Jesse. Her name is. But um, I was just seeking approval to apply for the grant and to have Jesse Howard start assistant working on it. What did you say the match is? 5%. What I looked at was 5%, but we did it before it was 15 so well, I do know some of these grant applications have changed mm -hmm. a lot of things with COVID mm -hmm. and to try to help. Really talk to Jesse more about it. I'm not sure on the exact percentage. It's going to be 5 to 15. It should be 5. But and what's the maximum amount you can apply for? You can ask for just about anything. I think last time we did it, we asked for like 500. Oh. But for the truck? Yeah, for the truck. But I think this time, to replace what we need to replace, we're looking at about 100 to 105,000. Okay. We've already got a plan on replacing six, correct? Uh, the, yeah, we just five. Uh, five is what we just replaced. Oh, we've we already got them in? We haven't got them in okay. yet. The ship date is next week, the 11th, I believe it is. So they should be in that following week. Um, that would leave about roughly 15 to order. I think that would be like 67, 6,800 schools, but there's right about 100 to 105,000. Okay. okay, I'll move to approve David to apply for AFG grant. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, seeing how thought. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Anytime there's grant money, yeah. somebody's going to get it. So. That will be us. It can be us. <laughs> we want it to be. It Jim, like do, do you have anything? No. no I, and I, I, I just want to tell everybody that <clears throat> it, anything that we vote on here, and if yeah, whether I'm on the winner's losing side doesn't mean anything to me. Of course. It, oh. all I'm, I, and I, I don't have any personal problems with anyone. We are extremely fortunate in that respect. Mm -hmm. And I have told people that. And people, I will tell you, people out in the state are a little, little jealous of us. <laughs> because <laughs> well, some uh, of them don't have that kind of relationship. Uh, some of this stuff, just like we talked about tonight, I come from a family of alcoholics and drug addicts. And it's very, very close to my heart. And uh, I pastored a church in the inner city, and some of the stuff that, that you get involved with is heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. and, and anything that I think I can do to possibly help even one person, I'm going to do. I understand completely. I'm, I've had people say something to me, but I can't believe you really supported that. I'm like, well, it's not necessarily that I support it. Maybe sometimes, maybe I go too far overboard no, trying to look at the... Good opposite side and play devil's advocate because I want every side looked at. Yes. Uh, I want people to feel they're getting a fair shake when they come here. Sometimes maybe I go too far. I don't know. And that's all I have to say. Sandy? Nope, I'm good. Charles? I'm great. Kevin? Uh, pickleball. And I'm not, I'm not saying that other than I'm saying Motion to a giant. We're not, we are not, no, we are not going to do anything about it. it, it the price, I, I'm sure he told you last month, the price is outlandish on chain link fence. We cannot do it right. It, it costs more for the chain link fence than it did basically to pave it and resurface it. You're kidding me. No. Oh, oh you no. want here? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's it's not bad. Bad. And, and we so have to figure out a way either to get that down or come up with another idea of one or the other. Because it was more, it's no joke. We resurfaced it, laid blacktop on it, and we were going to get the painting done on it and the striping done. 
cheaper than we're getting the chain link fence. To, that's crazy. <laughs> that doesn't even make good sense. And it might probably so, cheaper to put a, a dog eared fence around it. Wood. It, it, well, yeah, but if they ran into that, they'd probably kill well, them. I know, but that'd be cheaper. So they can use that orange construction fence. I, well, I thought about that, but they said it gives too much and they end up getting tied up in it when they fall. So I said, well, I'll. I'd rather get tied up in it than cut up by a chain uh, link. True. <laughs> but well, I've never played, so they, it's not, it's they easy say to when say. You, they say you bounce off the chain link fence. Is that what's around most courts? Yeah. Yeah. Chain link I looked. It's, it is around most courts. So I just want to tell you, right now, the pickleball court, yes, I want it done. Yes, it's too late now to do the do the resealing of it again. Or anyway, we can't do the coloring and the lines. It's too late in the year. Uh, temperature won't let us. So we're good until spring. So our price and is locked in? I don't, I don't think anything's locked in because when Larry and I talked about it back in the spring, I think the chain link fence was going to be six to $8,000, wasn't it? The and pickleball people and yourself change too many things along, so I don't know what's what. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of true, too, I have to admit. Not me. I'm just doing what they tell me to do. So exactly. I'm, you know, they're kind of, but I, I want to tell you all the pickleball thing. I'm not going to say anything about it until January. Then I might start saying something about it. I told you, I told you, one more dollar. Everybody put okay. your dollar in. February. I wait till February. <laughs> I wait till February for us. Everybody put your oh, dollar just in. Away. Yeah, put that away till February, and in February I'll bring it back up. But Av, you have anything? I do. Uh, I have I have this deed involving Johnny Barnes that needs your signature and the clerk's signature. She's here too. And a notary. Um, and this don't. We, we can do this after the fact. Oh, okay. if you want, you've already been authorized to sign mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Same thing with regard to the agreement. And I've got this check for fifteen thousand dollars. I need to give Appreciate to Larry. Um, and I need to know what bank it's going to be deposited in. And I need to tell you how they want the account set. The account set up. Oh, gosh. So, uh, and by the way, you'll need to make your first annual report sometime before January the 1st. <laughs> Thank you. That's easy. Yeah. Which is, no which report. is yeah, right, zero. Yeah. Nothing is no report. Good. Anything uh, else? That's it. Okay. Larry? Well, it's not, if, I'm, if, I, if I can, we've got those regulations. I need to meet with Larry and uh, Jim, you're on the uh, water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we've got both the regulation issue and the contract issue. And the regulation going to where they're wanting to take over uh, those meters and things. And whatever time we meet over here or in my office, I don't care where we meet. The same, the same aspect that they're trying to do to us, they are not trying to do in another city. I know. Okay. I know. They're trying to do this, but they're not trying to do it to the other one? Well, that's not fair. Well, same thing in contract. Yeah, the contract's the same one. Yeah. So if it's a regulation issue, it should be no matter where it's at. Correct. So it's not a Well, can we, can we file discrimination charges against them? We can file anything we want to, I guess. Hey, can we file discrimination charges against them? That's not fair to do one city one way and one city the other. Against the water district? Yep. <laughs> well, I'm serious. I ain't making this up. I want... This is the we way to do it against us? regional well, wastewater. I am One ready time, to go out there. The, the issue with regard to the meters re really goes to what do they intend to do with the customers? And I wouldn't talk about the closed session, I guess. Yeah. But how, what is it, how does it affect these customers that have been our customers for 30 years or thereabouts? Maybe longer than that. Long time, yep. right? As long as I've been on here, that's all I can say. <laughs> Y'all, no, at least 30 years. Make a date and a time work. Okay. I got a couple things. We uh, picked up a new sanitation customer at the Ohio County Apartments, 26 units. Uh, should be at a fairly quick and painless stop, so extra 300 bucks a month. Uh, leaf route, today was the first day. We've gone through Mondays and Tuesdays. We're going to hit Friday's route tomorrow since the rain's coming Thursday. We're going to be off Friday. So we should have one full successful pass through all town. So coming up there. But the, the customers don't know if Friday's going to go to you tomorrow, though. So you. No. Well, it's going to rain Thursday, so we can't. I'm going to say so. Thursday. You might have somebody out there yeah. saying, "Where my leaves?" <laughs> yeah. uh, the plans for the well, the new well, has finally made to the state. They're reviewing as we speak. Yeah. Told you. 
you know, the parking lot behind the cafe, we're going to start yeah. digging up the old concrete. We have a water so issue problem there. there. I'm going to well, try to get Hollis. When you teach us, yeah. There we're, we're First Street in the parking lot me. I'm going to get Hollis to pull a concrete, concrete trough down to the grave in front of your church. Right. That way, hopefully, it leads all the water standing on the road. That'd She's be great. It's going to cost a few dollars, but now it's time to do it. Yeah. Right. Oh my gosh, so, you, know, it, well, you didn't know that for you. That's all I have. That's all I have. David, do you have any doors? Uh, the only thing I got is the fire department fish machine is on the 5th of December. It's a Sunday from 7 p.m. to 8 30 p.m. at Old South. Remind me, we can call it. It is December the 5th, Sunday, December the 5th at 7 p.m. And I say we're still up in the air about ours because our plans kind of fell through two oh, weeks really? ago. Well, or cater. Oh, Old South? Old South. What, what time? Well, 7 p.m. Susan Shepard was going to cater. Susan well, Shepard was going to cater ours here. Yeah, yeah. She had a stroke. Well, well, I think she's okay. Well, they have been process. Been right out the door. She won't be ready to do this. Catering in December. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. 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 Yeah, that's what I was going that was the only thing that they've been so busy lately. I'm happy for them. I love Old South. I mean, I do too. I love Old South. I didn't know you didn't know that. Yeah. It's okay. All right. No one else says anything else. I guess we're going to move to adjourn. Second. Third, fourth.